Dutch at the Crocker Art Museum. This is a fascinating uh, yeah, swamp very process cool. I'd never seen before. Again, Bethany, I want a tie made out of this stuff. <laughs> And we can do that. I let the, the folks here know, okay. Kumba Collective Art Gallery, and they said, we will make a tie happen. I'm thinking this right here, this this symbol actually means God is supreme. And this is a piece of fabric sent to us from Africa, and this is the actual mud cloth. Now, what they're doing here, we're not creating the mud cloth, because usually the mud cloth gets sent in to America yeah. for the artist to work with, right. but we're using the mud cloth either as inspiration. We've got these folks down here are working on the different, you, he's actually got the goddess supreme symbol right there. They're sketching out the symbols, and then as we move through the table, you can see the different artists working on different pieces with the mud cloth. I just made this little magnet here, and we've got our designer who's creating magnets and pens. Walk us through what we're looking at here, Iris. Oh, sure. Part of the creative process is getting the inspiration, so getting the inspiration from some of the different symbols that are um, painted onto the mud cloth when, they're, when it's made is part of it. Seeing what you could do with it that's creative, um, the pieces that Daphne Burgess has made over here with the magnets and necklaces. She's taken the smaller motifs of the mud cloth to work. Uh, we looked at the pieces by Adele James. Uh, we've got Del Delgrad Brown here working on a piece that um, her symbols on there mean prosperity and unity on her piece of cloth that she's working with and she's putting together beads that will accent that. She could make a wall hanging for or use it on a canvas, which we you'll see on the next table, uh, to put it on there. It's also a wonderful technique for embellishing already finished pieces of art, as you see on this one. This was framed by Frankie Lee Edwards here. She used the mud cloth around the edges that's to beautiful. accent the pieces the uh, person in the picture is actually wearing. Yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is more what you're talking about. Oh, no, no what, is, what, what do we have going on down here? Okay, mud cloth is printed typically in six inch panels and strips, and you can tear them apart so you can use whatever piece you want to. And the piece that Marshall Bailey has here is a wonderful crazy quilt of a lot of the different old-fashioned and contemporary colors that mud cloth comes in. Now, what I love, all of this, you guys, this is all mud, just with different pigments yes. added to it. Absolutely, absolutely. They use different pigments to bring up the colors, and then they paint it into the cloth. I've been calling it printing, but they paint it into the cloth, and the stains will dye it, and they have these wonderful patterns that they make. Now, we love the Crocker Art Museum because you can get hands-on. It's not just coming and looking at the art. It's also being interactive and experiencing the art, as we have the folks here doing this morning. So uh, they've got lots of different exhibits and hands-on classes. We're in one of the many art studios where you can come and actually take classes and learn how to do the different art forms that you see hanging on the wall here. It's very cool. It really is. I want to see the blue mud. I want to know where that yeah.